Welcome back everyone. Today we are returning to the Balkans once again and we are playing as Serbia. It is going to be Lazarus, which is own all of the Balkans as Serbia, which we've seen this one before and we're probably going to see it again. We got to fight the Ottomans. Woo hoo. You know, you, you know what to expect. Let's just go watch the video. All right, so opening moves. Uh, we actually have a bit of a mission tree here. I don't know if it's, you know, the fully updated one, but uh, Tame the Magnates gives us claims on everything to the south of us. So we want uh, Crownlands to be 40%, which means we are not going to be taking any privileges, basically. Because we also want to wait to uh, stab up because we are going to uh, have our leader die soon. So... Once we stab up twice, once because we want positive stability, the second one because we want our leader to, uh, you know, he's going to die. He's 67 years old. Look. So, he's going to die. We're going to waste those points to stab. Then we will get all of the privileges. Uh, for right now, though, we can try to do something like religious diplomats, um, grant court positions. Like, you can give out the ones that scale on uh, influence as well. So, you know, just those little ones. Patronage of the Arts is a good one. Indebted to the Burgers. And that's really all we're going to be taking. Uh, Zeta with a fort? I mean, I totally could put a fort in Zeta. It's not a bad idea. It's uh, a few more loans, actually. It is a good idea to have a fort here. And then, yeah, we're just going to wait. Remember, we do have the uh, gold mine in Kosovo. So we're going to be spending some of our points, like, right away. Uh, let's focus on the military powder because we want to, you know, keep up in the mil tech. Let's also take one more loan to buy a couple more units. And immediately, we are going to spy on Bosnia and Herzegovina. They do sometimes get weird allies, like uh, Herzegovina can ally Byzantium, Bosnia can ally uh, the Pope, which is super annoying. And then this last guy, we are going to send him to be an ally of uh, Bohemia, so as soon as I see improved relations. Uh, enemies of Venice, Hungary, Austria, that's going to be really good for us. Poland, they did not rival Bohemia, so... Hopefully, we can also get Poland on our side. And now we are going to wait a couple of months before we, uh, you know, start making some moves. We usually can't get to Byzantium. Unless, for some reason, the Ottomans would actually give us mill access, which they won't. So, we won't go to war with Herzegovina first. Uh, we will wait a few more ticks. Let's see, we also do need a little bit more army strength. We will wait a few more ticks to uh, see if we can ally Bohemia before we declare these wars. That way the aggressive expansion doesn't affect it as much. We could probably help that along by getting the free company here. Don't be afraid to be over force limit because remember we do have this gold mine over here. Uh, let's also remember to get this first stability. And also, may as well put a couple points into the gold mine. I forgot to... Oh, wait, no, I did encourage development. Cool. I was going to say, I forgot to encourage development. Whoops. We are going to be losing a little bit of money, but that's okay. We might even be able to get Poland, too. Depends on when the, uh, the, Roma the Romanian invasion fires. Romans invasion, you know what I mean. And we can get the alliance with Bohemia. Let's declare this war against Bosnia. Uh, we are guaranteed by Hungary, even though we rivaled them. Alright, there's the unconditional surrender. As nice as it would be to try to get money from Silly, we don't need to stay in this war any longer than we have to, so let's just, uh... Just take everything there, come back home. Let's 
see. And yeah, you just saw our uh, friendship with uh, Poland go down a little bit because of the aggressive expansion. But uh, I guess not because of the aggressive expansion. I'm going to wait to get this alliance with Poland. And our leader surprisingly didn't die. Uh, we can also rival Venice. We will kind of need that later. So may as well. And then we already do have a reconquest core down here on, uh, what is this, Kataro? But we could also get claims on you know, Spalato or Zara, or at the very least when we go to war with Hungary. Uh, they are allied to Austria, which does happen pretty often. Uh, sometimes, though, Austria breaks the alliance before becoming, you know, Austria-Hungary and goes to war with them, but uh, even then... I think we'd be able to take them with Bohemia, maybe Milan, if they want to be our friend soon. We'll see. And now that Poland is our ally, we can just take on the world. <laughs> Milan, uh, they don't want to be our friend just yet, but we can start currying favors with Poland. And it is the Commonwealth, too, which is uh, pretty crazy. But let's see. In one year from now, we can seize land again. Maybe even after uh, everything gets cored up, we might be there. I'm not too sure. Poland took on our debt. Wow. Uh, that has never happened before, but they just paid off my burger loans. That is crazy. I have never seen that before. That's hilarious. I like to Byzantium. Uh, that would drag in Wallachia, interestingly enough, but I mean, Byzantium can't exactly help these guys, so I guess we'll just do this war. Wow, hold on. Five of fire? You. Lead the battles. You have one siege pip, so I guess you lead the sieges. Black News, our 236 will lead the nation. That's fucking based, dude. Holy crap. Uh, yearly inflation reduction, please. Diplo rep. And discipline. Based, based, and based. On should we are going to be able to get as an ally after this war is over. Let's see, that was a half cost national tax modifier. All right, there is the uh, full surrender, money, land. Ottomans warned us. That's not good. That means the next war we have to do is against the Ottomans. Four two five air from our two three six. That's really damn good. And uh, the Ottomans now, Poland, positive attitude towards enemies, Bohemia, attitude towards enemies, and distant war. So we can't go to war with Hungary because the Ottomans warned us. All right, now we finish off the mission, tame the magnates. I'm going to claim on Macedonia and Albania, but we are going to wait. Allied with Ferrara and Naples, guaranteed by Venice. Are the Ottomans even going to declare war on Albania? Is the question. We can sell titles, and we can also uh, get the plus one mana privileges. The warned by the Ottomans means that we cannot go to war with anybody.
Except Croatia. So we can spy on Hungary, get a claim on Croatia. And then we can actually get around the warning from the Ottomans by declaring on Croatia to take Zagreb. It's of Hungary. There we go. Austria is out of the war. There we go. So let's do... Take Croatia as a vassal. Take these two provinces for ourselves. Ah, we can't get to Tirka Vista. Mm, we can't get Wallachia. So I think we will uh, get war reps and then as well just get some more land from them. We don't need money because it's going to get evenly split between everyone. Do that. Hungary. We had uh, break broken alliance. Let's get to claim on Smogagrbi. Budapest. And Despot Stefan's legacy, we gain 20 prestige. Fortress of Belgrade, we gain 100 mil power. And uh, if we have more stability, which uh, once we core these up, we can get more stability. We can change the capital to Belgrade. Pretender rose up. What are his stats? 064. All right, let's kill him. Got like 30 favors. Polish conquest of Crimea against the Ottomans. Sure. Got to remember uh Poland declared this war against the Ottomans. So you be supportive. Just hook up to me, Croatia. We'll be fine. Alright, they pieced out the Ottomans. Uh, I don't think we got anything. We didn't get anything from the Ottomans, except we wiped out some of their armies, which is going to be good for when we declare war on Venice. And the Ottomans are no longer warning us. Let's reconquest for Zara. There we go. I got a little bit of money there. Nice. Right, so we'll get all of this coastline. Uh, we don't need Istria, but may as well take it. No point in not having it, you know? Instead of doing that, we return cores. That's... And then, uh, war reps, money. And the question is, how much longer do we stay in the war to get even more money? And it's not even that much more, so it's not worth it. So we'll just do that. Comic. Cool. Let's go for quantity. Uh, we are a bit ahead of time on the tech, Miltech 7. I think that's going to be the time to go against the Ottomans, because right now they're taking quantity ideas too. So when we get Miltech 7 and we get cannons, that'll be the time to go. Bohemia wants to go to war against Hungary. Sure.
Ooh, we got Budapest right away. It's gonna be funny because I'm like cucking the Bohemians. Oh! All right. <laughs> they gave us one province. Man, they pieced out right away too. I'm kind of mad they only gave us that one province. Eh, it is what it is. All right, Miltex seven. Need to. Oh, now Poland would come in. Awesome. Uh, reform the Nomo Cannon. Sure. Missionary strength plus two percent for twenty years and tolerance of the true faith. Maybe I should have waited to take that after uh, taking a lot of land from these guys. But uh, looks like now is the time to go. The Ottomans only have like two thousand units for some reason. So let's take Avlonia. Where is that? It's right down there. If we had six, it would be a plus three, so let's make... Oh, we only have <laughs> 1,000 manpower, so we can't exactly waste too much money on uh, units. Even the Moldovan army is taking it to them. Sorry, I'm not helping you with that. Nice. Ooh, nice. A stack wipe on two of their cannons. Ooh, this is going so well. Yes, this is going super well. Let's say about the Mamluks. Did they declare war on the Ottomans? They did. Yeah. Oh, and we made it. We made it across the strait. Oh, it's so over for them. It's so over for them. Ottomans are about to be blown to smithereens. Uh, ideally, we also take something like Biga. So we actually have access to Anatolia, but I don't think we will need that. We'll get it anyway, may as well. I don't want to stay in this war to bankrupt them, but honestly, we don't need to. Big war against the Ottomans. And now, let's release a couple of vassals, because our overextension is dangerously high. Oh yeah, we took Crete. Forgot. Uh, we release Crete. Byzantium. And Bulgaria. How that stays for us. Oh, it's because it's an Albanian war. So if we declare on Naples, they won't be supporting Croatia's independence anymore. They're allied to the Pope and Albania. And we're right here to kill Albania, so let's just do that. I'm gonna say technically they have more troops than us too, but it doesn't really matter, does it? And now Croatia, we can, let's see, because their independence can't be supported anymore, we can pay off their debt, and that makes them kind to us again. So this all worked out exactly as we needed it to. Perfect. Admin Tech 7 for our second idea group, and because we're going to be going, you know, the vassal stuff in the Balkans and everything, let's go for influence ideas, which is, I don't think it's a bad idea. We uh, own uh, all the provinces in Dalmatia, so we get a permanent claim on Bosnia. We already fought Bosnia. We already fought this area. I think these claims are a little bit backwards. It wants you to fight Albania and the Ottomans first. 
Or no, it wants you to fight Albania and Venice first and then go up the Balkans. It's a little backwards, because it's so much easier to do it the other way. Or anything from you, just more reps and money. Ooh, and the last jousting tournament, too. Very nice. Alright. Just Poland will join, because Moldavia is still threatened by us. But that should be fine. They only have one cannon. They do have a better general than us, though. That's a good general. We're gonna get reinforced, and we do! Give that to Poland. Oh, there's more Crimea over here? I don't want that. E9 war score. Trabzon is a, uh, they have the vassal of Hissin Kaifa. That's weird. And, oh, oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. Oh, they got integrated. And Hissin Kaifa is their vassal, and they have no allies, so, yeah, this war is done, so. Uh, what we are going to do in this peace deal is, uh, basically return cores again. And we're just going to go down the line, see our guy's flag. We take it. Let's see Byzantium, Bulgaria. Give all that stuff back to Greece. This is going to be more expensive than I thought. Roads to Greece. I don't, I don't need roads. That has a fort on it, I think. Let's see, Bulgaria, area, that would be a 100% war score, I don't need money, money would be nice, I don't need money, I need to get all my vassals their land back, and a little bit of money, that's not even all their land too, but uh, that is all of Greece's land, so I could annex them in July 1506. And now that we have uh, cut up the Ottomans into little pieces, and now that we have also re-rivaled Hungary, and we have a claim on Hungary, uh, we could just go to war with Hungary. We also need to dev in the uh, colonialism. Uh, Moldova and Bohemia would come in on this war against Hungary because the Ottomans warned us, which is going to be good because now we can reset that uh, timer with the Ottomans. The scary part is mostly Austria. I'm surprised the Ottomans are still in on this. Nice, they didn't take it at 70%, and we fucking just, we stack wiped them. Holy crap. Alright, now they'll take the white piece. This is going to be a five years truce. And then we can just go back to focusing on Hungary. And poor Bohemia is getting absolutely, just straight up destroyed. Let's see, Hesse is once again the emperor. Let's see, and then what we want from Hungary is uh, those three. Honestly, we could take a lot more if we wanted to, but uh, humiliation is always good. And let's end it right there. Three provinces and a humiliate with war reps. Ottomans. We don't need anyone's help, but Moldavia will come in because they did help us out in that uh, second war. Let's just gun it for their capital.
Your capital is occupied. I just want a white piece, bro. Let me leave. Was it only 95%? Whatever. Um, all right, now. Let's do for peace with the Ottomans. Return cores. Byzantium, Byzantium, Byzantium. Area Byzantium. And then we need to take those islands for ourselves. And, uh, I mean, I guess I can take the stuff in Carpathia. Or I can take, uh, 700 ducats. And I think I'd rather take the money and just let them fall apart over here anyway. So... Very nice. We have kicked the Ottomans out of the Balkans, technically. Uh, we can embrace the institution now as well. And with that, we can tech up to Admin Tech 10 for our third idea group. And if we wanted to continue this run, I think we would do something like religious ideas because we are orthodox and we are surrounded by so many other, you know, different religions. Eventually, we would probably, like, share a border with Poland and Moldavia, you know, going through Hungary and the Ottomans over here. Probably down into Anatolia against them. Uh, economic is still good, too, for, you know, land maintenance modifier, production efficiency, another merchant. Yearly inflation reduction is strong when we have a gold mine. Economic would not be a bad idea. Um... Admin, if we wanted to keep on blobbing. Again, religious or economic, I think. So, go for economic, even though we're not even going to finish that off. Why do I care about what the Diviet is doing? What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, I think Taya is big. Gaul is big. Malak is actually doing a little bit of work. Anyway. Spain formed. And they kept the islands. It's always nice to see. Uh, they also took a province probably from England, but that is a French core. Interesting. They have a couple of colonies, too. Uh, yeah, this is way doable. Uh, let's not call anyone in just yet. There, now let's call them. I wanted to make sure that I got the... Ooh! Reap the administrative benefits. want to take... Nitra... I just want to take up there anyway. I think Transylvania comes out of here. That'll be ours. We completely encircle them. And then war reps and money. And now there are little pet that we can look at because they're silly looking Hungarians. Then we release Transylvania and Nitra. We can ask Bohemia to, recur to return the uh, Nitrin core. We have a million favors, we may as well. Thank you. Then we can core up uh, that one all the way over there. I forgot to take stuff to get Wallachia! Oh, I'm stupid. Well, hopefully the, uh, well, the Mamluks did, uh, not make them release Wallachia, so we could go back to war with the Ottomans. Then take... Uh, yeah, nobility cannot be bought. Duh. We take that every time. We got three stability from the nobility cannot be bought. <laughs> And it looks like we needed it, too, because we got a comet. Cool. I think that's the second comet. Look, 
dear Jew. We don't need any allies in this war. May as well take everything over here, plus as much money and war reps as we can get. It's taking a little extra. You know we don't need much. Oh, there's Shun. Man, Ming falls apart in the 1530s. But when I play over in that region of the world, nothing happens. The Ottomans declare war on Ajam? Is that what I saw, or was it the other way around? Only makes... There it is, Lazarus. As Serbia owned the entire Balkans as core provinces. And, uh, well, it did get to the point where it was a little uh, easy. Let's see here. Retake Macedonia. It's a permanent claim. Scandinavia, permanent claim on Bulgaria and Silistra. Hectors of Christendom, get a permanent claim on Thrace. Take Constantinople, we did that a long time ago, so I guess I'll get 50 prestige right now. The event of the Third Rome happens. Third Rome. Shall become the new capital, changes to Orthodox culture, changes to Serbian. And then local development cost, local production efficiency, well, okay, okay, okay. Or, Belgrade gets the Third Rome until the end of the game. So we basically make, you know, Constantinople the third Rome, or Belgrade the third Rome. Also gives us... It gives us all of the same buffs, but just in Constantinople, which... Yeah. And now... Let's see if we expand infrastructure. It's still 45 to dev. But hey! We did it. And truthfully, you know, I had to try a couple of times. And honestly, it wasn't that hard once, you know, I finally got it down. Oh, it wasn't that hard once I, you know, won. But, uh, I mean, I, I had a couple of runs where the Ottomans were very hard to fight every time. So I just had to, like take bits and pieces at a time, but this time around, the Ottomans just straight collapsed. Like, this was the easiest run, and of course this is going to be on camera, but don't, don't get it twisted. This was one of the harder runs. Or, no, that's not right. You know what I mean. But, like, this was... Let me, let me start again. Yeah, we got it done. This was the easiest run. I tried this, you know, maybe four or five times. And, you know, there were some times where the Ottomans just kicked our ass and there was nothing we could do about it. There was another time where, you know, we were winning against the Ottomans, but it was very difficult. We, you know, ran up the economy with so many loans and inflation was out of control. But we were still afloat and we were taking bits and pieces at a time. You know, that one probably would have been a more interesting video because it was difficult. But this one, this was easy. Like, the Ottomans just kind of fell over and died once we hit Miltech 7. And I can tell you why, too. It's because in uh, some of those other campaigns, they would start out with admin ideas first. And they would match me in the Miltech and also have cannons. And that's why those wars were hard. Because we couldn't just overwhelm them with cannons. This time around, they went quantity ideas first. And they're actually about to disappear off the map. They went quantity ideas first, then administrative. And, you know, usually what the AI does is if they take that idea group, they will fall behind in the tech to get the ideas first. First, which is something I don't usually do. I try to split it 50-50 and, you know, might be worse for wear on that end. But, you know, oh, look at that. We get an extra merchant. But, uh, you know, that's 
the opportunity there. They were Miltech 5, I was Miltech 7. I got like seven cannons, they only had four, and I wiped their cannons in one of the earlier battles. And, you know, surprisingly, we kept Poland as an ally. You know, again, in another campaign, we had Muscovy as an ally and Poland, but it was still tough. Uh, and really also what influenced it was when uh, the Ottomans went to war with Hungary and conquered up here. That meant that the Bohemians who took, you know, Trenchin, they were close enough that there was no, oh, too far away modifier because they were close enough, you know? So that was really cool. And we were able to get the Bohemians in on the war and then just straight overwhelm them. Uh, sometimes you can get the Mamluks as an ally and they will help from the south. But uh, in another campaign, it, it was kind of funny. In another campaign, uh, Mamluks were allied to the Kataman. Ottomans declared war on the Kataman. The Mamluks got their asses kicked, but, you know, they did a little bit of damage to the Ottomans. But every single time they declared war on the Kataman, it was like a month before I wanted to declare war and call in the Mamluks to help me and Poland, you know, kick their asses. So that's something that can happen too. Um, I'm actually going to delete one of these forts over here. That's in the hills. That's in somewhere else. But, uh, yeah, uh, to finish off this run, I think I'm just gonna eat up the rest of Hungary, you know, afterwards, and we'll make the screenshot, we'll make the, uh, the thumbnail, that final thing, but, uh, for now, this was, it wasn't as hard as Room. it was not as hard as Room. uh, it was not as hard as Basilius, because we actually had to fight the Mamluks when this happened, as Byzantium. So, it wasn't as hard as either of those things. And honestly, I think Lazarus may have been the easiest one. Because, you know, we start as Serbia, and it's weird because our missions, they give us claims in the direction we don't want to go first. So, like, you know, we tame this, we get claim on Macedonia and Albania, which Macedonia is down here in Ottoman territory, and, you know, on Albania, which is Albania. Then, if we take provinces from Albania, it says, okay, good, now go up the coastline, fight Venice. And it's like, well, I don't want to fight Venice as my first war, because I'm tiny, weak, and I have no allies. But then after that, it's like, okay, now that you've taken the coastline, go inwards and fight Bosnia, Herzegovina, and, you know, Croatia, where, where it's like, you know, in reality, in the run, it was... We went to Bosnia-Herzegovina to make ourselves bigger and stronger. Then we fought Hungary for Croatia. And then we went south to Albania and the coastline. So like, or not even, we went to the coastline first, then Albania. So the mission tree, I think, is a little backwards too. And then like over here, retake Macedonia. It kind of gives you a clear idea of where they want you to go when you do these wars against the Ottomans. But... It doesn't consider that you just won't straight up own them yourselves and that, you know, we won't game it by doing the, uh, that thing where, you know, you release a vassal, you eat up the reconquest cores, makes it easier, return the cores, that kind of thing. Cause you know, it gives you a clear idea. Retake Macedonia and then, okay, after you take Macedonia, you take Bulgaria and you take, uh, you know, Silistria. So you basically take all of Bulgaria. And then after that, you know, uh, let's see, you get a claim on Thrace, which is down here. And then after you get Thrace, you take Constantinople, which you would just do that in the same war anyway. And then, you know, the third Rome. And then, uh, <laughs> Absolutism 65 to become an empire. I think we would become an empire before that, my guy. Like... We still have a lot of Carpathia to take, and we could, I think we could easily take on the Mamluks, too. Uh, let's see, they're at 100,000 troops, but our force limit is also 100,000. We're, we're not even at our final form, so I think we could take on the Mamluks, and honestly, again, I think this was the easiest start. Maybe Bosnia and Herzegovina would be a harder start, but considering, you know, you could fight them and then go and fight Serbia it would probably be a similar thing. So, yeah, this was not difficult. I mean, it was difficult, but it wasn't the most difficult. Uh, definitely 
gotta say that. It was not the most difficult, but it was hard. This was more fun than all of the other ones that we've done. You know, we did Romania. This was much more fun and much more easy than Romania. We did Room. I wanted to kill myself by the end of that run with Room. Uh, we did Byzantium into Baselius. That one was really tough, too, because not only did we have to fight the Ottomans multiple times, but we also had to fight the Mamluks multiple times. So, you know, big wars back to back to back. Now, right now, honestly, I could expand into Italy. I don't give a shit about Anatolia. Mamluks, you can form Arabia and fuck off. I don't care. So, like, like I said, I'm probably going to finish it up by taking the rest of Carpathia and just finishing it off like that. Uh, maybe we could even diplovassalize you. Oh my goodness, we could diplo-vassalize Moldova. That's crazy. I'm gonna go do that. But yeah, that's the end of Lazarus. Thank you very much for watching this video, and have a wonderful rest of your evening. Uh, I'm gonna keep this rolling anyway, though.